Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial inspired by the makeup Rihanna had on at the 2016 VMAs. This is a makeup look she wore in her last performance and also when she accepted her award and it really stood out to me and I wanted to recreate it. So if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. First I'm going to be priming my lids, I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden and I'm just going to blend that out with a synthetic brush. Then I'm going into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm using the shade Raw Sienna as my transition shade. Then I'm going into the color Cypress Umber and I'm going to be applying that in my crease and also on my outer corner. Then I'm going to be mixing the shade Raw Sienna and Cypress Umber and I'm going in between my transition and crease shade to create a nice gradient effect. And I'm kind of pulling that eyeshadow out kind of far on the outer corner. Got some serious blending going on. <laughs> Next, I'm going back into Cypress Umber and I'm going to apply some more of that into my crease just to deepen it a little bit. And I'm kind of concentrating on the inner part of my crease also. Then I'm mixing the shade Antique Bronze in Cypress Umber and I'm going to apply that on my lid. And in some lighting it looked like she had a little sparkle, sparkle so I'm taking the MAC Cinderella pigment and pretty it up. And I'm going to wet my brush and apply that on the center part of my lid, um, kind of trying to avoid the outermost and innermost corner. Then I'm going into the shade Buttery from the Anastasia Self Made Palette and I'm using that as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going back into Raw Sienna and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going back into the Cypress Umber and I'm going to apply that on my direct lash line. Then I'm taking this dark brown coal liner from Estee Lauder and I'm going to tight line which is lining my upper waterline and I'm also going to line my lower waterline. I'm going to take the same brush and blend that eyeliner out, kind of smudge it a little bit. Then I'm taking the same eyeliner and I'm going to apply that on my upper lash line and I'm going to do a very thin line because her eyeliner was not dramatic at all. It was just like a really um, lightly smudged line of eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and smudge that out using that same brush from before. And for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It didn't appear that she had on falsies. If, if she did, they were very natural. So I'm just going to apply a lot of mascara. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going to contour my face and I'm using my Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Medium. For bronzer, I'm using the limited edition MAC Rihanna bronzer. Then I'm going to be using the blush from the MAC Rihanna collection and just apply a little bit of that to my cheeks. For highlight, I'm using MAC Soft and gentle. It's so, so pretty. And I'm going to pack that on my face pretty much. Check that highlight, girl. And apply some more highlight. Then I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow and a little bit down the center of my nose. And then I'm going to add some more highlight. You can never have too much highlight, right? I'm going to be applying the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in Court K. And I'm just going to line my lips with the lip liner. Um, I will say this was my first time using this shade and I don't really recommend it unless you fill in your whole lips with the lip liner and then put the lipstick on top because it is quite patchy. which you can see I did not end up filling in my lips, so I will try to fix it later on. So as it dried down, I could see that it was looking kind of patchy, so I tried to go on top of it with the lip liner to fix it. Still wasn't quite right, so I ended up going in with MAC Pure Heroin lipstick on top. And since this is an amplified finish lipstick, I went on top of that with Smashbox Insta Matte to mattify it. And I'm going to set my face or spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Then I'm going to apply my Riri Inspired Dangle Earrings. My Riri Inspired Coat Slash Dress Thingy. Taking that hair down.
and that is the completed look so I hope you guys liked it if you like celebrity inspired looks like this um, thumbs up this video or just leave a comment down below and also let me know what look you would like to see next but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys in my next video